great fans, Jared Schaffer with Alex Owens again here in Ontario. We're still back doing some skills, Alex, and once you got the puck in the offensive zone, you got to find a way to get it into the net. How do you do that? you got to pass and shoot. Yep, we're going to be firing some pucks and we'll have some fun. All right, we're going to work on some passing and some shooting now. Uh, we've done our skating, we've done our stick handling, and now we all want to score goals, right? So uh, we are going to work on our passing and our shooting, and all of that stuff we worked on the last couple weeks all gonna come into play here. So we wanna make sure we have good posture, we wanna make sure our hands are away from our body, and then on top of that, we always go to the hockey shops, we see the guys that are sitting there just flexing sticks. Oh yeah, we see that. Right, so we wanna use that flex of our stick when passing and shooting. We pay a bunch of money for this super expensive, full of technology, whatever it is. Um, so instead of just kind of pushing pucks and hitting pucks directly, we are going to push into the ice, allow our stick to, stick to flex, and then we're gonna point where we want it to go. And that goes for shooting and passing. So we're gonna have you give me a couple passes, and then we will uh, move that onto a shot. So Sounds good. puck back a little bit. You're gonna push into the ice and then point right at my stick. Beautiful. Coming right back at you, point at your stick, cradle that puck. Good. Couple more here. Good, and now well, if we find that as we're passing or shooting, that that stick kind of f starts fluttering a little bit. Okay. Um, that's just because your blade is coming up like this. So we roll that hand over, we point with our toe, and that is going to calm that puck down a little bit, make it glide across the ice a little bit better. Beautiful, love it. Last one. Perfect, all right. We can translate that into a shot pretty easily. So a hard pass on the ground, is basically just here. A hard shot is the same exact thing. And then to put a little bit of mustard on it and get it higher, we're just gonna follow through a little bit higher and snap those wrists up there. All right, so nice. we'll take some shots here and we'll see how we do. All right. Something to keep in mind is, you know, a lot of our A lot of our young fans out there, a lot of the, the young hockey players, they see these 200 pound NHL, AHL guys that can just rip pucks. And unfortunately, we aren't all built like that. Um, so what we wanna do is really make sure that we're bringing that puck to about our back foot and then sweeping that puck in the ice and then coming through. Not all of us can take a quick little snapper. So we'll work on that later. But right now, we're on bringing that puck back to your back foot and then pointing it at the net. Not bad. Ooh. Good. Let's fall through a little bit lower. Good. Now your top hand is a little bit by your armpit. Okay. We want to take those hands away and that's going to allow you to actually flex that stick a little bit more. If it's here, you're a little bit stuck. If it's here, I can actually pull back with my hand slightly and create a little bit more flex in that stick. Good. Top hand farther away from the body, you're saying? Yep, punch that away. Good. Well, at least I didn't miss the net. They're all shots on goal. SOGs, make the goalie make the save. Exactly, there's rebounds all day long. All right, so the next step we wanna do is add a little bit of a snap to our follow through, a snap to our shot. So instead of coming through here evenly, and pushing. Yeah. When we get to the end of our shot, towards our front foot, we want to snap that wrist forward and hit that ice as hard as we can. So we're coming here, and instead of that, where you kind of hear the puck just gliding yeah. across, we're going to come here and have a little bit more of a snap to it. I'm not getting the snapping that I want. I feel like I can snap it if I just like snap the puck, but I want to be in one strong, in one fluid motion. I'm coming from one end here and then still able to snap. Like I'm, I'm, I feel like it's still fluid like in the first step. I'm not. So you have the puck kind of on the mid part of your blade here. Okay. If you start it on the toe and then yep. bring it to there, then that's okay. going to allow that snap. It's also, everyone loves Conor Bedard these days. Yeah. So his shot is bring it into the body and then shooting from there. Which is why we both shot it wide. Yeah. 
because we're not Connor Bedard. Yeah, for some reason I'm not Connor Bedard. Yeah, he might be. Just might be the number one overall. He's okay. Pick. We call that bar down in the industry. Woo! One more. All right. You got this. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad. A little off balance on that last one. And once you kind of get this, honestly, it's a little awkward when we're standing still. There's not a whole lot of times. We're not Ovechkin standing on the, on the wall waiting for our shot. So um, you can always add everything we did before this, all the skating, the stick handling, add in a shot at the end of it. All of a sudden, you're a complete hockey player. It's a lot to think about, but it's all good lessons. Thanks for the time. Of course. Thank you. Great job.